Okay, just a quick video to say, number one, look, everything that's contained in my book, I've been sending to these people all along. I've been sending information out to, to everyone. I mean, it's too many names for me to list, but just understand that when you read my book and you understand Plumegate, then you're going to look back at your news sources, wherever they're from, alternative, mainstream, YouTube, Facebook. You're going to begin to ask some serious questions about them. Because we've been prompting them with this information all along. They have chosen not to cover it. Not to cover it. Keep that in mind. And when you understand how monumental and huge and the ramifications of Plumegate, the nuclear industry, the cover-up, the fatalities are going to come from this, the sickness, the kids being sick and everything, then it's, it's just so eye-opening, okay? And you will never look at the government and industry and even society the same again. You will forever be changed. It's that big of a deal. It's a life-changing experience, but you have to understand, you'll have to read uh, this particular book that I've written. Like I say, the information's been out long enough now that one man, okay, has been able to write a book on it. Meanwhile, have you heard of this anywhere? Any from anyone? Anyone at all? I'm not even going to name names right now. I'm just saying in general, Who's been talking about this and who has not? And you need to you need to examine that and, and consider that unto yourself what that means to you, okay? And so rather than just really harp on people and bitch about this or something, look, please read my book. It's, uh, it's under 200 pages. I have a profuse amount of screen captures from the FOIA documents, the NRC FOIA documents, to prove my case. And again, like I say, it should be a life-changing read for you to understand what's really going on inside these inner circles of this conspiracy, right? And so, please, I, I'll give you the link uh, beneath the video here. And I've spent a lot of time on this. Let's see, I've been since February 2012, pretty much I've been writing article after article. In the last couple months, I've really assembled them all and added a couple more sections that needed to be there and put them in a logical order and format. So, please check out my book. It's called Something Wicked This Way Comes. The story of Plumegate, the world's largest provable cover-up. And it's free and available to the public, just as these documents are that I've been drawing from since February of 2012. And they've been out since July of 2011. But I didn't find out about them until later. But Associated Press and Friends of Earth and all these other people sued for them and got their... Or not sued, they filed for the information, pay their fees or whatever. But nevertheless, it all goes into a public file, which is accessible by anyone and everyone. If you go to the NRC website... You can click on documents pertaining to Fukushima and start combing through them and look at the cover-up and find evidence yourself, right? So while all this time has elapsed, one guy with a little bit of help from Shazam, who's kind of my mentor and consultant, we've put this book together. Again, it's out there to the general public and read it and just kind of soak in what it means. And then please reconsider you know, our, our media in general. Reconsider what it means. And I ask these questions in the book. That this far after the you know meltdowns and this cover up took place, no one really is talking about it. No one really knows about it. Okay, I hope to change that with this book as well. So and I've got a lot of praise from Kevin Blanche on it already. So there's a little bit of um, I should use his quote kind of on the uh, cover of the book to kind of build it up, right? So please uh, read the book, spread the information around, and uh, you know may Yah bless you and have a great day, everyone. Thanks very much. Over and out. We need to get subscribed and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the Remix button, hit the Remix button. That way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad.